you my monkey butt. Love another sweet cheeks bunny. I'm your daddy next. Snickerdoodle, baby boo, honey. I'm gonna say it again. When I started doing music, it wasn't, I didn't set out to rap. Even my producer at that time, he said, you need to spit real about your life, who you are. And so I came out to him, I'm like, what do you, you know, I'm gay. What if I spit about that? He said, well then do it, that's what you gotta do. I'm Joey Lamar, AKA Deadly, and I'm a rapper. Oh, and I'm gay. <laughs> so baby, baby, I'm yours. Dirty habits, foul moves, but, oh, baby, foul moves. Back in early 2000 when I started doing this stuff, no one had ever seen an open gay rapper. To them, it was only supposed to be like a masculine guy that's doing it and spitting about chicks and this. But I was taking it further back with my rap. I mean, I was thinking more about Public Enemy. I was a big fan of Rage Against the Machine. Well, I mean, they can make change with their music. And that, so that's kind of what I was doing too. My early fans were not the people who I expected. I thought it was gonna be hip hop heads, be brown and black men, but it wasn't that. And it kind of made me mad because, you know, I really wanted my brown and black people to love me and like what I was doing. But I was dealing with a lot of people that were down low and they had to, because that's just the way that we were brought up in the culture. They say for better, for worse, so baby, baby, I'm yours. Dirty habits, foul moves, but we keep it on course. When I first came out to, I thought I was gonna get a lot of love from the gay community. And it was the hardest thing to crack. And even the festivals, I tried to play Long Beach, tried to play LA Pride. And every time they're like, you're a little too hardcore, we don't want that element here. And I'm like, but I'm gay, what element are you talking about? They don't understand that there's gay fools that look like me. And we're not gonna go cause problems, man. It's just, this is the way we look. Did I tell you it's a love song though? <laughs> it's a gay love song though. Like you said, I'm sweet, man. <laughs> You know what, I think it just takes time. You need to talk to people and people need to look beyond the surface, man. And I'm guilty of that too, man. You know, I think we're all guilty. It's just human nature, man. I, mean, I think we all want to put everyone in a box. And what's cool now too, it's like, dude, they're not looking at me as the gay rapper. They're not tripping on the whole gay thing. They just do music. <laughs>